Uh, the Associated and United Press all over the nation have been after this story. It's been on every newscast over the air and in every newspaper I know we of. We are honored indeed to have here in our studio this man, Kenneth Arnold, who we believe may be able to give us a first-hand account and give you the same on what happened. So I was approximately 25 to 28 miles from Mount Rainier, and I noticed to the left of me a chain which looked to me like the tail of a Chinese kite. They seemed to flip and flash in the sun just like a mirror. I kept looking for their tails. They didn't have any tails. <laughs> well, they didn't fly in the conventional formation that's taught in our army. They, uh, they seemed to kind of weave in and out right above the mountaintop. And the best calculation I could figure out, now even in spite of error, would be around 1,200 miles an hour. And to my knowledge, there isn't anything that I read about outside of some of the German rockets that would go that fast. They flew like a saucer would if you skipped it across the water. They said that my father got sighting of flying saucers got more attention than the ending of World War II, and he became extremely famous. The Air Force doesn't kind of know what to do about the situation because it was very perplexing to them. My father became so famous so quickly, and it frightened them, you know? My father and mother received 10,000 letters from people all over the world. So when military intelligence came to my parents' home in person, the first thing they did, they asked to go through all of their mail. The Air Force gave your father some photographs. Yes, the military intelligence, when they gave him these photographs, they told him in person, they believed that these were authentic pictures. They were given to him by 4th Air Force, military intelligent at Hamilton Field, California. I'd be glad to confirm it with my hands on a Bible because I did see it. And whether it has anything to do with our army or our intelligence or whether it has to do with some foreign country, I don't know. We may but have an answer for it before night. There will probably a story come out on it from the Army or Navy asking, uh, saying that it is a new secret uh, plane and that will be all there is to it and they will hush up the story. Or perhaps that uh, we will finally get a definite answer to it. I understand the United States.